In Seagirt, Britain, the population looks naturally enough to the shores for its annual relaxation, defying war or weather. Blackpool on Lancashire's windswept coast is a shining example of what every British seaside resort ought to be. For almost a century, Britons have frozen happily on its sands and coped with the same old maddening problems. It's a great place for the bare necessities. But Blackpool is unique. It's the peak, the mecca of millions of Britons who wouldn't change it for the world. Blackpool's architecture is a kind of late 20th century Victorian, though there is the occasional rebel. Packed cheek by jowl, the guest houses are impeccably clean and impeccably run by legendary landladies whose word is law. They're in a buyer's market and they know it. Over a hundred years ago, the development of a fast railway service to Blackpool started a rush that has never really stopped. No, that bit goes here. And this bit goes up there, or is it the other way around? The weight of pleasure-seeking humanity Blackpool Sands have supported in those hundred years is mighty indeed. But the secret of Blackpool's century of success lies not so much in a God-given stretch of sand as in the shrewdness of a long line of city fathers. Realising that England's capricious climate could turn off that flow of holiday pounds, shillings and pence, they set up a sideshow. Blackpool's funfair atmosphere soon became its biggest attraction. In the season, even well into the autumn, Blackpool is a bustling, sparkling palace of delights, throbbing with an atmosphere of carnival. For the children, of course, it's heaven on earth. Though the industrial north floods into Blackpool regularly every summer to get away from it all, there are some things you simply can't leave behind. All the theatrical razzmatazz of bingo is larger and livelier and twice as much fun in Blackpool. When that loses its charm, there's always something else at one's elbow. The magnetic attraction of the one-armed bandits, a small fortune within easy reach. for the really big jackpot. Blackpool regulars insist that you can have the time of your life at the pool without even seeing the sea. If you don't enjoy yourself, you have no excuses. The only need is money in your pocket. For a few pence, you can have the thrills and excitement of the rapids. Everything the ingenuity of man has dreamed up to entertain the holidaying masses and keep them happily spending, this thrusting Lancashire town has found space for. If it's popular, it stays and is even improved upon. If it lacks appeal with that final judge, the public, out it goes. Space is brass in Blackpool. And variety, that well-known spice of life, is life itself to this heady, brash, frequently vulgar but always entertaining resort of the Northwest. So steady is the stream of Britons flowing regularly into the flesh pots of Blackpool that a special spur from the M6 motorway has been built to help them on their way to delights such as these.
But the real miracle of Blackpool occurs when the heat runs out of the summer season and autumn leaves begin to fall. Unlike other resorts where the dusk of coming winter settles gloomily, Blackpool comes alive again. Since 1925, Blackpool's illuminations have been growing steadily in colour, grandeur and worldwide fame. Miles and miles of electric wiring, hundreds of designs and patterns, tens of thousands of animations, hundreds of thousands of lamps that flicker and glow and delight the eye. Every year, a team of technical artists dream up a fantasy world in electric colour. The cost of all this to the town is staggering, of course. This year, well over a million pounds, steadily getting heavier as the lights burn lighter. But Blackpool's flourishing economy is the final answer to that problem. So important have the illuminations become to the town that when they're switched on, tourists from Britain and abroad travel miles just to see the wonder of it. As this year's special feature, the Muppets, blink and change colour for the pleasure of the public, Blackpool, that insignificant suburb of a small town, looks to the future. It couldn't be brighter.